Hi, I'm Peter J. Ray. Welcome to Adventures in History. Today's topic is Wrestlelust Educational Center, Classes, Manila, Philippines, 1998. Uh, during this time, Wrestlelust was located at, 20, at the 202 Wilson Street, and I took a video in actually my uh, classes, several of my classes, uh, first year, third year, and fourth year English, and uh, first year health class. I don't know why I didn't uh, do a second year, uh, the second year class. I, they were a very lively group, and uh, I guess that was why, because I thought they were too wild, but they were still good, good, good kids. Now, in the in the first year class, uh, in the video, you see I was doing affirmations to uh, in these positive statements that actually are taught in my church, Self-Realization Fellowship. And then we were in an English class, and well, in the same class, we were uh, studying the uh, classic novel from literature, Black Beauty by Anna Sewell, published in 1877. So there were quotes from the, from the book that we were talking about. In the uh, third year, the class was, uh, we were studying the no- classic novel Little Women by Louisa May Alcott, first published in 1869. And again, we were... Uh, discussing quotes from the book, and uh, of course that's a wonderful story of these four sisters in the United States and in, in, the, in, the, in the 19th century. And in fourth year, we were uh, studying the Bible, and specifically the book Song of Songs from the Old Testament, and we were discussing uh, quotes from, from that. And then in uh, uh, health class in first year, it was, uh, I decided this I thought I decided to, you know, instead of talking about health, let's do something healthy. So I, I passed out bananas. Of course, bananas are very healthy. And, this, and we had a banana eating contest. Pretty crazy. So that, that's what we did there. Now, the students during that school year included uh, Brian Yu, Victor Bassa, Christian Tinoco, Philip Ang, Richard Manyalak, Coco Galang, Andrew Ko, Tin Consumido, Luigi Guerrero, Chico or Hans Lockie, James Lim, Vince Santos, Kurt Hahn, Johnson Choa, Camille Alfonso, Paulo De Leon, Rose or Beam Consumido, Christopher Batak, Walter Ko, BJ or Beej Fabiosa, Ernest Galarsa, Miguel Lazaro, Shermi Peregrina, Mike Poa, David Ang, Uta or Jose Marie Cruz, Koji Yamaguchi, Amiel Pahati or Miel Pahati, Ryan D, Vida Gonzalez, Timothy Mercurio, Charlene Ui, Chamari or Joam Gonzalez, Mitzi Dayrit, Frank Vargas, Dennis C, Willard Ramos, Justin Fallorina, Carlo Benedicto, Rocky Augustin, Inigo Atilano, uh, R.J. Pagsibigan, Miggy Tanchanko, and Paolo del Rosario. And now the movie, folks. Okay, let's affirm together. I am working. No, I am a child of God. 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 I treat others with kindness. 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 Okay, back to our story, Black Beauty. And as you recall, she, uh, Beauty was sold to a new owner where she was being abused by having her head held up high in uh, uh, high rain, very painful. They, they did that for fashion. Okay, uh, so we're on worksheet four, number one. Who can read number one? Hey, Christian. I, I wash my eyes of it, and if she can get to the Duchess, burn it for me, I can help it. Okay. 
Yeah. Okay, Vic, can you answer number one? Answer number one. The answer is very obvious. Ginger and beauty became wild when the high rains were, were higher. <laughs> well, what did they do when they became wild? Uh, uh, and why did they become wild? Uh, uh, because the high rains hurt the... Uh, Mix. Why did they have the high rains? Right. Any 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 further comments, Christian? Master. Okay, Christian, can you read number two? Uh, the, the the quote. Quote. Question. Uh, it is good for three. Now, do you know the answer? Yes. <laughs> would you Would you like to uh, explain? Tell us the answer. <laughs> uh, people only bought horses that had their hands being high. Their hands. <laughs> uh, heads. <laughs> Why would they only buy horses with their heads reined high? For style, sir. Oh, for style. Was that good? No, sir. Why? Yes. Why not? Yes, it hurts the horses. Very good, Christian. Excellent. Yes. Okay, Brian, can you read number three? The quote? I needed now the whisper, but I was expecting address my life. And what is the meaning of that uh, quote, Brian? <laughs> I don't know, sir. You don't know? Come on, the answer is obvious. Ah. It's very obvious. Yeah. I know, sir. Okay. The horse panicked and ran off with the lady and beauty ran off. Now, why did the horse panic? I don't know, sir. Was the horse scared about something? Yes, oh, yeah. And why did beauty run to help? Uh, I don't know, sir. Because she wanted to help? Yes, sir. Because she's a helpful horse? Yes, sir. Very matulungin? Yes, sir. Oh, this is English. No Filipino. Helpful, right? Yes, sir. Good horse. Very good. Yes. Christian, wouldn't you like to have a horse like Black Beauty? Yes, sir. How about you, Vic? No. Just hockey? No, sir. Oh, a car. You'd like a car, right? Oh, okay. Okay, third year students, let us affirm together. I am working hard in school. 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 Okay, now we're at the part of uh, Little Women where uh, Meg and John are going to get married and uh, they're preparing the poem for their stay. Upset means not clear, right? means uh, ridiculous.
Okay, who can uh, read this quote number 16? Sir, me. Okay, Walter. So each week we held some fresh absurdity. Who can explain the meaning of that quote? The day was ridiculous. <laughs> some ridiculous things happen every week. Good morning, Amiel. Now, this refers to Lori. What was Lori doing? Uh, he was laying around. <coughs> what was he giving Meg and Janet? And he was giving them gifts. What gifts did Lori give them? Nutmeg grater. A nutmeg grater. That's very practical, right? Holding up close to dry. You have to remember, as Lori had a lot of money, and he was buying all these knife cleaner. Knife cleaner. Okay, Rose. Who's close? Uh, is it because Meg is going to be leaving? She's getting married. Getting married, so the. That means she's also leaving. So she will. She will be leaving. Yeah. Yeah. So it's kind of a touching time for them. Okay, Rose. So it's really a small place. Yeah, you know, they can hardly have visitors. Maybe two, only two visitors. Anyone know what a dandy is? A dandy is a guy who wears uh, really uh, sort of outlandish clothing. You know, kind of wild clothing. And uh, you don't hear the word dandy anymore. You know, if guys who wear purple shirts and maybe leather pants and well, there's black hats, there. stuff like that. <laughs> dandy. I thought, I thought, I thought you were, like, gonna, somebody was going to ask you, like, how are you? Why didn't dandy? Well, that's another meaning of the word. <laughs> so what does that mean there? <laughs> that means good, fine, okay. <laughs> so is Lori sometimes a dandy? Yeah. Yeah. He wears this. Okay, we're back to uh, Song of Songs, this very romantic uh, book in the Bible. And uh, who would like to read uh, the part in chapter 7, which deals with the reply of the woman to the compliments? Okay, Paolo, go ahead. Um, I belong to my lover, and he desires Come, darling, let's go out to the countryside and spend the night in the villages. We will get up early and look at the vines to see whether they start to grow, whether the blossoms are opening and the pomegranate pom trees are blooming. There I will give you my love. You can smell the scent of mandrakes and all the pleasant fruits are near our door. Darling, I have kept for you the old delights and the new. Okay, so basically, what is she saying here? Question. Yeah. Song of Songs after. Uh, Does she uh, accept his compliments? Yes. Does she like him? 
Yes. Yeah, this, so they're really, you know, they're, they're very, clicking. Yeah, they're clicking. Exactly. Wow. Closer, or people wouldn't say things. Right. After every love but mine, hold no one in your arms but me. Love is as powerful as death. Passion is the strongest death itself. It bursts into flame and burns like a raging fire. Water can't pull it out. No block in jars. If anyone tries to defy love, love is love. Contempt is all that he would get. So, what is love like? Powerful. Powerful. Not easy to forget. Not easy to forget. And very serious, sir. Serious? 67. And nothing can stop it, sir. <laughs> Three strong, sir. All right. Very good, Frank. Peggy. Um, what else did the guy say? Come to me, my lover, like a guest, like a young steed, like a stag on the mountains where spices grow. 8 to 14, I think there's more, right? Sorry. Me, sir. Yeah. Rocky? Yes, sir. Uh, we have a young sister, and her breasts are still small. What do we do for her when a young man comes courting? If she is a wall, we will build her a silver tower. But if she is a gate, we will protect her in family. I am a wall, and my breasts are Towers. The lovers knows what to do. I find contentment and peace. Solomon has a vision. It makes a little bit of a wall. There are farmers who rent it from him. He should only pays a thousand silver coins. Solomon is welcome to his thousand coins. And the farmers, the two hundreds, and their share. I have a vineyard. Where do you want that? Here? Here? Can you hold on to it? Yeah. Okay, health class. We are eating bananas. Very good. And Vic is making. He's peeling. He's almost ready to take a bite. Richard still hasn't moved. He's just sitting in his chair. And Brian, the first bite goes to Vic. Mmm, isn't it a nice banana? Yes. And Christian looks like he's ready to take a bite. Oh, Brian is chewing. He's taking a bite. Oh, Vic takes a second bite. He is in the lead, and Christian takes a first. Very small, tiny bite. Looks like Brian and Victor. Oh, and Vic takes a big bite. He's way ahead. He's in the lead, and Richard's in last place. And Richard moves ahead of Christian with a bigger bite. And Vic looks like. Oh, he may be the winner. He's got the last piece in his mouth, and it is still in his mouth, still chewing. Brian in second place. Looks like Vic's going to be the one, and Vic is the winner. Go, Vic, go. Vic gets the banana award. I have, to take, I have to take nine pictures of you eating a banana and have it framed and put it on the wall. I'm a banana man. And who will be second? Brian is in second. Christian's uh, and Richard is still in last place. He's trying to be funny. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. Very funny. Woo. And Brian is still in second place. Who will be second? Will it be Brian? Will it be Richard? Ah, oh, very funny. <laughs> very funny. Still no second place winner. 
Vic won by a landslide. It will be second. <laughs> Who is it going to be? And Richard is, oh, smoking his banana. New concept. Who will be second in the banana contest? Brian's hiding. What's he doing over there? I can't see what he's doing. Is he eating or is he putting the banana in his, in his desk? Ah, uh, he's still got a little left. And Christian is chewing away. Richard takes another bite. Maybe Richard will be second from last to second. Woo! And he's stuck with banana, stuck in his mouth. He can't move. He's dead in the water. And uh, Christian, what's, that, what's happening with Christian's banana? He's hiding it. Oh, he's got one last big nibber. And oh, there's still no clear second place winner here. No clear second. Is it? It could be Richard. He's, he's, he might be the second place guy. And they're munching slowly. This banana is not going down. How did Vic do it so quick? These other guys are just moving like turtles. And Brian is down to a small nib. Can he get it down? Oh, he's... No, he takes just a small bite. And Christian takes a, a medium-sized bite. Richard looks like he's got... Is he the winner? He's chewing. Is it down? Richard is second place. Woo! And Brian, who's going to be Brian or... Brian or Christian? Brian is in third place and Christian fourth. What a great contest. Congratulations, Vic, our first place winner. Richard, second place. Brian, third. And Christian in the rear, last place. Okay, today we're going to talk about the teeth. The teeth, which uh, have several functions. One being appearance, and two being uh, uh, used for eating food and for smiling, which is part of the appearance. Now, okay, teeth are important but often neglected. Now, how many of you brushed your teeth on the field trip, on the retreat before you went to bed? Did you bring a toothbrush and toothpaste? Did you bring flossing material? How many of you floss every day? Very good, Christian. That's excellent. Flossing is important. What happens if you don't floss? Stink. Stink. Bed will stink, sir. Huh? Bed will stink. What will stick? Stain. Stain? Stink. Stink. <laughs> What gets stuck between your teeth if you don't floss? Food, yes. Could be could be orange, pulp, meat, something. And what happens to your teeth? It gets stuck up. And it's stinky, sir. But it causes tooth decay. See, that's the problem. Tooth decay. The food is staying in there, it's just staying there, and it's rubbing against the tooth. So brushing is not enough. Flossing is important to remove that. Okay, to, uh, to prevent tooth decay. Now, when you brush your teeth, what should you also brush? Gums. Oh. Well, yeah, you can brush your tongue. Gums. Gums, why? Why do the gums need to be brushed? Because it has a lot of things. What happens if you don't brush your gums? It'll, it'll be ugly. You'll get gum disease, gingivitis. It'll be ugly. And it actually can be a very painful disease. So when you're brushing your teeth, you should imagine brushing your gums. And if you brush your gums, your teeth will get brushed anyway, right? A lot of people, they just brush their teeth. No, you have to have higher strokes to brush your gums as well. Okay? How often do you go to a dentist? Never. Every year, sir. Every year? Yeah. And when you get older, you should go more often. Every every. I go every six months. That's what they uh, was told for adults. Again, most of the problems people have with their teeth can be avoided. But m many people are lazy to brush their teeth, especially in school. Do you guys bring a toothbrush and toothpaste to school? 
No. And you see, that would be a good idea, wouldn't it? Well, that concludes today's presentation. To the students of, at Restless Educational Center during the 1998-1999 school year, Miss Alice and I wish you all the very best in your personal lives and, other, and otherwise in your careers and so forth, and especially during this very tough time with the, excuse me, coronavirus pandemic. It was a real blessing to have all of you, such, such fine young people, in our lives during that school year. We wish you all the very best. Uh, Dear viewer, uh, you might consider checking out our website, Adventures in History, with Peter J. Ray at peterjray.com. So far, we've made 646 history videos in seven areas. World history, American history, book reviews, poetic tours, Cleveland baseball, family history, and autobiography. There, there's a donate feature. You might consider making a donation so that we, may con we can continue uh, making these videos. You also might consider checking out our podcast, Adventures in History. If you live in Metro Manila, Philippines, and are looking for a high school, excuse me, you might consider Restlust Educational Center. Restlust is located on Allen B Street in Barangay Maytunas, uh, San Juan, Metro Manila, Philippines, not far from the corner of P. Guevara and Wilson Street. At Restless, we specialize in helping young people who have had difficulty in the larger, traditional high schools. And the website is restless.education, R-E-S-A-L-E-S-T. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. God bless you. Take care, and I'll see you next time.